Mono mama, mi ata ni kakuwa na stress. Mi siwezi lewa hivyo. Yo ulevi yake, si ya kawaida hiyo. Ena imekua, imekua hivi kila siku. Mi na shuku. Watoto, na watoto wake. Hey, squeeze yata, ni kama washanza kuwa waizi. Una, una, una ngatu uko kwa barabara. Wana kasi jua. Bas, ni yao. Watoto wata wape wangu chakula. Mama ya wakitafuta ni pombe tu. Ni pombe. Ni pombe. Mnaeza wongea, mnaeza sema vini mutasema. But until you walk in her shoes. Wakai ni hatu zoe. Sini skia. Sini wana ulikuwa na tumbi yata ni kwa 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 I'm very good. You want a sleep? Wake up and get it over. You are not going to spend Yeah, I don't understand that. Okay, me need to there. Now, do you convince me when they deserted me? Hmm? Even my children, they deserted. Hmm? But God has always been there. I don't see. I don't see. How Nataka uweke hii kitu kando kwa sababu huyu ni rafiki wa muda kidogo sana. Lakini my closest friend. He could be your friend, but just a temporary friend. He'll give you a temporary solution to your problems. Hmm. But I want to talk to you about someone who will give you a permanent solution to your problems. Okay. Okay. You kando to You want to talk to me about what? About God. And what? I want to tell you how, how much God loves you. How? Oh. And how much he wants you to stop what you're doing, mm. drinking, and he's going to renew your life. Oh. He's going to give oh. you a new oh. lease of life. How? Oh. Wacha ni kusomea neno kutoka kwa kitabu cha wa Korinto. Oh, Corinthians. Yeah. Corinthians. Yes, yes. Exactly. Naona unajua Biblia. <laughs> yes. Corinthians. First Corinthians, mm. chapter 6, mm. verse 12. Verse 12. Oh. Yes. 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 All, those, all things are lawful for me, mm. but not all things are help, help, helpful. Okay. Sasa hii pombe mm. haikusaidi. Itakupatia mm. relief ya muda kidogo, mm. alaku kesho ukiamuka, mm. shida zako zimiongezeka. Mm. Lakini mungu watakupatia pumziko, maramoja na ya kutosha. Mm. Na kupe uhai wa milele. Mm. So nigataka tuombe na wewe, Dio huyu rafiki wa muda kidogo watane na yeye mm. uanze kutembea na Mungu. Mm. Mm. Mungu anakupenda sana na pia mimi nakupenda sana dada yangu. Mm. Hey. Mm. Pray for me. Yeah, yeah, let me pray for me. Let me pray for you. Mm. Father God in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this sister of mine. Thank you because you love her with an everlasting love. I pray that this will end your Lord you will save her and change her life, dear God. Thank you for her life. Thank you for bringing her into the kingdom. I, I, I release her from all the chains of drunkenness and uh, her disorderly behavior and even all sorts of immorality. Mm -hmm. Lord, write her name in the book of life. Mm -hmm. I thank you for loving her. I thank you because you're going to change her life. Mm -hmm. For this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 When the lady kusoma neno, mm -hmm. ita kuatia hii bibidia uo unasoma. Oh, thank you. Unaishu wapi ni kupereka nyombani?
down the uh, hey, wake up, wake up, near the river hata nikufikisha nyumbani after sasa tutakuja kukutengelea yes mama utarudi kwake Mungu what is threatening to drown you what has been putting you down what have you been through what stole your hope why do you think you're far too gone who told you God cannot get to you where you are why are you trying to control the way god has to reach out to you he can use anything and everything he doesn't have to use the way you want him to don't let your past drown you or suffocate you there's still hope for you there's still life in you there's still strength being supplied to you it doesn't matter what they say do you say it was done could have been don't give up now Christ still reigns if you've been the person to discourage another repent and live a different life encourage others if you've been the discouraged one move on shake off the dust it might victorious don't let a bad experience make you never try to live for God again or disappointment when you set your sights on something and God decided to do it in a different way don't limit God in that see God in your challenge see God in every area of your life it doesn't matter whether they said you couldn't do it it doesn't matter whether it looks impossible you will emerge victorious you can you will just rise and move on christ enabling you so don't look at that past there is still hope don't be tied to what others said yes many things are permissible but not everything is beneficial you my friend belong to god and he has a purpose for you he is is still in control of your life so emerge victorious be strengthened no matter what you're going through don't let the past don't let difficulties don't let disappointments or even joys ruin it for you or stop you or discourage you they still hope you can overcome that oppression you can you can overcome that obsession you can overcome not because of your own strength but the strength supplied to you regardless of where you are right now where you've been or even how dark the future looks he holds today he holds tomorrow you may not know what the future holds but no god who holds it for you you will overcome you will emerge victorious you are imagine victorious may the lord bless you